Here is Electra Voice. They are the makers of the RE20 and the RE50 mic that I'm using right now. Let's see if we can say a quick hello hey, to the guys from Electra Voice. Hey, how are hey you? we are live on Facebook. All right, my favorite place in the world. Yeah, I and waste I, tons I, of time on Facebook I, daily. I got the T-shirt on too. Right so, on. you looking uh, good, my man. I, I, I'm using an RE50 right now, awesome. and uh, when I worked in radio, loved using the RE20. Best uh, interview mic there is. Yeah, so it's great to see you guys here. Tell us what's going on with Electra Voice. Well, uh, you know, for years we've really been engaged with the, the higher broadcast community, right? Radio stations. And, and, and TV stations, things like that. But obviously, with the advent of the podcast, uh, 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 you know, just exploding, uh, you know, we're really trying to focus and get our brand out to some new people. So uh, we're here this week kind of showing uh, all, all our classic broadcast microphones, and, and everybody's falling in love. We've got, you know, the RE320, which is kind of the entry point to our line right. uh, at 299 fantastic sounding mic. The RE27, which has a real nice uh, hot output and a bright top end and then the classic re20 which you'll find anywhere um, in radio studios all across the country um, you know this mic we've been making for 50 years it's celebrating its 50th anniversary this year uh, and that one's actually uh, 50 dollars off through the end of the month because of that so so from from left to right we have the re20 yep which is like the legendary radio mic yeah the big Boomy voice of God, right? The <laughs> RE27, which is right. a neodymium Capsule. magnet. It's a newer version, right? Absolutely. Um, not necessarily better, but a hotter output and a brighter right. sound, yes. And then the RE320 is sort of in between the two. It, exactly right. Kind of has a tone in between the two um, and at an entry level price point of $299. Excuse me, two ninety nine, which makes it a little uh, more accessible to, to to podcasters. Which one has been the most popular of the three mics so far um, here? Honestly, it's it's really been a balance uh, between the three. You know, what we encourage is everybody to find a price point that works for them and and a voice that works for them. If you're looking for something that's really detailed, uh, the twenty seven is a great uh, option. If you're looking for a more mellow uh, tone, uh, the the twenty is a great option. And if you want something that's pretty versatile on both sides the the 320 uh, is a great place to start i'm just going to turn the camera around uh we're talking with michael do so okay uh, thank you for the help there yeah it's uh, a hell of a name. michael do so from electro voice and you know i find that you know you need to test the mics before you really invest in one i think yeah. because people will read a review but what's good for me like the RE20 is an amazing mic for me, yeah. but the RE27, not so much. It's a little too, too higher. Yeah. Sound, yeah. So, yeah, I, I everybody's mean... Everybody's voice is different, you know, it, and it can be difficult, honestly, because there's not a lot of places you can go to, to hear the microphones right. on your voice. So, you know, if you have that opportunity, we encourage it. If not, work with a retailer that, uh, you know, if you buy a mic and you just don't like the sound of it, that they'll allow you to return it within 30 days with, and, and switch it out for something different. Um, is is the other alternative to that? Now I see you have the uh, RE50, both the regular length handle and the, the longer handle. Which, yeah. if I were to do this again, I'd probably get the longer <laughs> handle one. Um, uh, but uh, you also have another interview, Mike. Here, tell us about the uh, 635. Yeah, the 635 was kind of the original. Um, this one also has been around forever. Uh, also known as the Buchanan Hammer because it's just so durable. Um, <laughs> You can literally pound nails with it, so it'll last forever. Uh, the 635 is kind of just a, a smaller version, um, and then eventually we came out with the RE50, which is essentially the same capsule as the 635, but is actually it has an internal shock mount, so right. lower handling noise. So um, the 635, very versatile, um, nice and easy, light. To, to move around. All of them are omnidirectional, so nice wide pickup pattern. As you'll see, the way you're using that mic, you know, right. you can position it between the two of us and uh, we'll pick us up both real easily. So much easier for the interviewer to get the sound they want. And this has really become the industry standard when you see TV reporters and also when you see news conferences, they're like 40 yeah, RE50s lined a, up. There's usually a dozen of them sticking into the into the scrum there. But but yeah, they're they're everywhere. And, and for a reason, they're, they're just tanks and and they right, sound great. Right. So, well, just remind everybody again. You, you said there's some podcast movement specials that you have. 
Um, well, our friends at uh, Broadcast Supply Worldwide are okay. offering 10% off uh, uh, all of the EV microphones. Um, if you're looking at any bundles, uh, you may save even more money uh, along with uh, no tax and free shipping. Um, but the RE20 specifically is also uh, $50 off its normal price. Uh, so you'll get the $50 off plus another 10% at BSW. Um, and so that mic is normally $449. Um, with the $50 off, that's making it 3 99 uh, through the end of August that that special is running. That's fantastic. And do you recommend using it with the uh, shock mount that you the classic uh, RE20 yeah. shock mount, or do you recommend putting it? I mean, can you can you use it off of a stand and and you can eliminate any sort of noise? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously. Um, you, on a stand, it's much without a shock mount. It's it's more prone to any any pickup of of you pounding on the desk or shuffling papers around things like that. Um, it really depends on on your own use of the microphone. If you're if you're you're really animated and and, and moving things around, then then I'd recommend a shock mount. Um, if you're if you're kind of just quietly sitting there chatting away, um, there's no reason you can't just put it on a on a desktop. Uh, um, you know, either in the studio or if you if you want to use it remotely out in the field. And obviously it depends on the person using it, but in general, how much gain does the RE20 need? Um, You know, that's hard to say. Um, You know, it depends on the quality of the preamp, but usually... 10 or I'm sorry 20 to 30 dB is is usually a good good safe starting point right. if you've got a good quality yeah, I mean, preamp exactly. um, you know that doesn't introduce so too I much do. noise know, uh, right. you can avoid any 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 sort of booster in line right. if you've got a, a cheaper uh, preamp that when you turn it up you get a lot of noise um, then we recommend maybe putting in a cloud lifter or something like that right. but but otherwise uh, if you've got a good preamp you can you can really avoid doing that and last question I have is, uh, I heard that the guy who actually invented the microphone is here. Is that a rumor or is that true? Uh, that is a rumor. Um, uh, uh, the guy who, uh, our product manager who, who, who helped build the RE320 uh, is here. Um, but yeah, I imagine the guy who, I don't even know who invented the, the RE20. Uh, it's been a while, I mean, right? yeah, that might, again, his 50th anniversary, assuming he was at least 30, maybe. Uh, that would, I, I don't know if they're still alive, but uh, I can tell you this. We do still build them the same way as we always have, the RE20. The, the exact same mic that they have been from the beginning. We've seen some videos out there of people comparing a new RE20 to a vintage one, and the vintage one sounds differently. Um, the truth about the uh, uh, the vintage one is it's not because we built it any different. It's because that you know the vin- the one they're testing is 30 years old. Right. You use anything for 30 years, it's not going to be the same as it was right. the day it came out of the box. So, do you have uh, a preference on the sound between the two? I, I, I mean, no. I mean, they all sound the same great. Thing, right? Yeah, it's, awesome. it's the same thing. Yeah. I mean, if anything, I would imagine the older ones are 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 a little more degraded, uh, or or you know filled with spit and all sort of weird things covering the capsule. But uh, yeah, the, the the 20s are a great mic, but but really, it's a matter of finding. Like you mentioned, the, right. the right one for your voice. Michael Dusso. Du- du- Michael Dusso with Electro Voice. Thanks so much for all the time. Love the products, and uh, it's great seeing you guys here. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate everybody checking out uh, any more information. Uh, check us out. Follow us on Facebook at Electro Voice or uh, electrovoice.com.